Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Great War mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Today we're going to be starting a new campaign, playing as, I believe, we're going to go as the Russian Empire. So we're going to be playing as Nikolai II, and try to restore the Empire to greatness, as the recent years have not been kind to the Russian Empire, with a major military defeat at the hands of Japan, followed by a revolution that forced the once invincible Tsar into a constitution. The Russian government must get back on its feet and prove its strength once again or risk revolution. Luckily, the Balkans are turbulent again. The crumbling Ottoman Empire is Russia's opportunity to expand, create new puppet states, and more importantly, prove it's still a world power. So if you're happy to see a new Hearts of Iron 4 modded campaign on the channel, of course, let me know in the comments below. And if you're feeling generous, it would very much be appreciated if you left the video a like. If you don't want to, that's completely fine too. I've chosen for the Russian Empire as I feel that it could be a really kind of fun campaign. I know I did previously do a German one that didn't finish. I think that the save game got corrupted during an update, so apologies for that. However, I will try my wholeheartedlyness to wholeheartedness to whole. I will try wholeheartedly to complete this series to a very good resolution. So we have the national unity of plus eight thanks to the East, Eastern Orthodox Church. The Toshima Humiliation, which reduces uh, my division organisation and daily political power cost, which lost all of our battleships and most of its cruisers as a destroyers. Crumb diddly -ums. And then we also have limited railway infrastructure. Uh, okay, well, let's give it a go. And click on start. So I don't actually have any audio on at the moment. We're going to play on regular, as I, I don't really know where to go. So I don't really have any music in the game at the moment. That's because it has its own custom soundtrack. I'm not really sure how to disable that. If you, ha if you do happen to know, uh, pl please do let me know. It would be very helpful. Uh, I may edit out bits of this if it seems like too much filler. But for the most part, this will probably be a normal uh, let's play. I, 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 will, I, I will probably cut out bits and bobs here. So we can either go down political effort. Oh, purge of the Imperial Guard. Reinforce the Tsar's authority. Adopt the reforms, reject the reforms, diplomatic effort. Hmm. Okay. I could reorganise the army. So there's a lot to do here. It might be prudent to go down the industrial focus first. However, I do like to get a little bit of political power to be able to do whatever I like. So I'm probably going to go completely down uh, to reinforce the Tsar. As I think that might be the best bet for me to start off with. Or I could deal... Ah, enact a non-aggression pact with the German Empire. The second Russo-Austrian agreement. Hmm. 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 <laughs> or I could... Oh, I can defy Germany. Celebrate the Russo-French alliance. Okay, okay. Sanctions in the United Kingdom. Ah, oh, knife in the back. Oh, we leave the Entente and join the Central Powers. Uh, no, I think we're probably going to go down the route of having war with the Central Powers as per usual. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get all this sorted out and then I guess I'll... Actually, you know what? No, we can keep it going. Uh, right, so in terms of research, there is a bit more research to the Great War mod than uh, the base game. I am still, of course, pretty much a mediocre Hearts of Iron 4 player, so if you're really looking for something that's like a pro... Would not recommend me, to be honest. I'm, I'm not that great. So we've got a surplus of everything, except one aluminium, which I think we'll get from France. We can give them one factory for that, not a problem. Military factories. Oh, we could upgrade to infantry equipment from one. Mm. Pre-dreadnought, pre-dreadnought, pre-dreadnought. And I think we'll just get rid of these entirely i'm not going to focus too much on a naval power i don't really need to be a huge naval power as russia i'm probably going to go down the route of oh i've already got a battle cruiser being built okay well that was just a waste of time completely we'll, we'll just focus on getting the one battle cruiser in eight years and, and then i think we'll also just build some convoys as well you we can never have too many convoys let's see if we can actually toggle uh, some music let's open the music player and just have london in flames There we go. And if I notice any kind of custom music playing, because I've had a copyright strike on The Great War before, which was unfortunate, 
but you know it happens uh right so let's i guess we'll get some more civilian factories because russia can probably be an absolute powerhouse Uh, what are we missing equipment production of? Oh, we don't actually have any divisions in basic training. However, let's take a little look at my army equipment, though, because I imagine it's going to be 60. It's pretty terrible. So I'm going to keep it as is for now. Unassigned divisions, yep. Okay. Oh, wow, 104 divisions, just like that. Uh, in terms of skill, Vladimir Shulkanov. You can project. Project? You can protect our border against Germany. Let's stick it into one speed just for now. Horse-drawn vehicles. Oh. Okay. So I'm only lacking. I'm not actually lacking that much. Fine. Unassigned divisions. Ah. Well, you can also join the force there. And let's just stick this at four speed for now, just in case I've missed anything. Welcome to the Great War. Aha! Okay, pick one of these four options to see how good you are. Tinker, I, I think we're going to go for not today, thank you. I'm just going to stick to the base one. Right, we have a ton of uh, divisions. The death of Edward the Seventh. Okay. I think of these 17 divisions. You can also be added there. And protect against the Chinese if they get any ideas. Which I very much doubt they would. No divisions of basic training, that's also fine. We have got quite a few field marshals, which is great. And then you, sir, can be commanded by General Alexei Brusilov. Falofilov. Albanian Revolt. Balkans are a powder keg. Indeed they are. Got 28 ships here. That's also fine. Let's just get all those together. Okay, so every time I have done a campaign on Hearts of Iron 4, you have all seemed to really enjoy it, so... it's I, I do like I do really enjoy doing them. Oh, South Africa has its independence. It's just uh, getting the time to, to do it is uh, a bit of a pain sometimes. But uh, as you may have heard from my other videos, I am going away to England. So I'm kind of trying to get quite a few videos done uh, ahead of time. So hopefully I'll have a couple of parts out this week for you. So we can kind of keep this on a decent track. Political effort is all done. Fantastico. We can ooh, adopt the reforms. Hmm. Or reject the reforms. Or we go down to li diplomatic effort and get a lot more political power. And we can go down the Balkans politics. Oh, we can spark the powder keg. Oh, that would be pretty fun. Restore Russia's former glory. Ooh. Avenge 1453. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I just realised what that means. Sorry, that's when Constantinople was... Yeah. The end of the Siege of Constantinople. Oh, that's awesome. Right, well, let's go down and reject the reform. Actually, we'll adopt the reforms. For now. So we can increase our army size by quite a lot. Japan-Korea Annexation Treaty. Oh, well, the Empire of Japan is growing. Oh, well. So we now kind of border them a tiddly bit. Not too much... Oh, we do actually border Japan there. So it might be proven... Oh, crumbs. That was loud. Okay. Well, that was... Very quick. New surgical instruments. Resource gain efficiency plus 5%. So I'm really trying to boost my country quite quickly. Submarine attack I'm really not that bothered about. Uh, field artillery upgrade, let's of course do that. And so when we do get some army experience, that's going to be very good indeed. But we are... We have the power 
We've got the power to be an extremely... <laughs> oh, God, I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, to be an extremely powerful force. Of course we do. We are the Russia. And as a result... Ooh. Okay, what I'll do, I'm going to go back to an autosave and do reject the reform so I can actually go down and discuss the... Oh, wait. Oh, I need to wait until 1917. My bad. It doesn't really matter. Requires one of the following. Yep. Yep, okay, that's fine. So, I think we'll go down. We could reorganise the Imperial Army. Not too bothered about that. Industrial effort might be worth doing. Actually, of course that's worth doing. Because for now, I don't need to worry about that too much. And it looks like... The majority of my infantry are probably going to be infantry divisions. So I'm going to reorganise those. Uh, I, like, I'm still pretty crap at making divisions. I know that the combat whip is meant to be... Um, let's get some support artillery, actually, and field hospitals. To be 20. So if I get some artillery, that's 15. Does it matter if I put them there? 17. Ah. 19. 21. So that's now 18. 20. Will that increase it to 22? Okay. So combat width of 20 is meant to be decent, I believe. Okay, and where we've got a lot of manpower... Don't need to worry... Uh, I think that... If I added artillery... Yeah, that'll kind of ruin that. Okay. But we do have support artillery for our infantry divisions. Great. Uh, Imperial Guard. Ooh, those are pretty... Decent already. But if I add in some artillery... Heavy artillery increases our breakthrough. If we add some infantry in, that's another 20. I think that's fine then. Yeah. Oh god. My equipment is dire, isn't it? 48%. Wow. But at least we have a standing army of about 1.2 million. Which will be fan dabby dozy. Right, we can manage our occupied territories. If I wanted to, I could release all these nations. I'm not going to, of course. That would be bonkers. Hmm, political power gain. We've got the House of Romanov. Improved relations. Civilian infrastructure and refinery. Fascist demagogue. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Captain of industry. These are all the same, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's increase the, 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 the Let's increase the speed. The Portuguese Republic is proclaimed. Very good. Very good indeed. Don't, that won't really affect me too much. At least it shouldn't. Okay, yeah, can, yeah, I'm lacking a lot of equipment. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. Uh, one thing I'm probably going to have to make sure I do at some point, so if I just go onto the screen so we can kind of look around. It, a SAR tank. Oh, blimey, that looks grim. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, increases our oil production, enables trench. We can also do trenches there. Uh, that is not... Oh, wow, okay. Can't go down there at the moment. Um, what can we do in land doctrine? Hmm. It's three years ahead of time. I think we've gone as far as we can in 1910, except to get our submarines. Yeah, at the moment, I think we'd get completely overwhelmed. Okay, revolution in Mexico. Very good. Let's go down the infrastructure effort. Ooh. Or do we want to reorganise the navy or do a diplomatic effort? I think...
There we go, that's all hunky dory. How many ships do we have here? Oh wow, that's quite a decent sized fleet. Pretty sure it would get wrecked mostly though, wouldn't it? Grand Duke Alexander. Ah, no, you're in terms of skill. You sir are by far the best man for the job. Build artillery upgrade, very good. I hope they finished at the same time. Siege artillery upgrade. Let's just crack on and do that. Can I actually get any planes at the moment? You can get scout planes and airships. Yeah. Here's our communication system. Increase our factory output. Actually, one thing I do want to start producing, uh, I will reduce one factory from that and instead build some Z hens. As they'll be good for bombing. Because at the moment, I don't think we have an air force. Yeah, we don't have an air force. Germany does. So does Austria. So it's all about kind of keeping pace. So we are... Ah, we are in the Entente. <sighs> I might want to get rid of that at some point. Hmm. Let's get some more political power, because at the minute... Yeah, we're not getting a whole lot. We're getting point two zero a day. Damn! And our national unity is only 58%, which is kind of lame. Okay, so we can't get anything there at all. Support battalions, we are pretty much up to date with apart from the signal companies. So let's do the signal companies. 1911 at the moment. You are defending against our. Japanese neighbours. We only really need a general. There you go. You can, you can be assigned to the arse end of the world. In terms of the empire. I'm not saying that's an arse end place. Heavy industry is done. Let's increase our oil production. So I don't really think we're too much of a bat. Oh, our capital's at St. Petersburg. Huh. Okay. Some uh, yeah, I guess I don't really know when the cap the year when the capital's changed. I just skipped past that event when I probably should have taken a look at it. Submarine attack. Oh, let's do the tank research. Let's begin to research the mighty, mighty tank. Politics in Scandinavia. Adds two military factories. Ooh. Assert Russian position in Asia. Invest in Outer Manchuria. Mongolian Protectorate. Hmm. Balkans policy. Ooh, we gain an extra national unity. Well, let's definitely do that. I would. I definitely need some extra unity. Division speed to division recovery. Division attack. Let's do Grand Duke and Nikolai. Of course, if you're an expert with this mod and you're still watching 20 minutes into the first episode, do let me know what you think I should do. As that'd be helpful, to be honest, because I'm a uh, I'm a little bit new to this. I mean, I obviously understand the basics. Uh, <laughs> That would be my initial attack. And my offensive line would, of course, be down to Vienna too. Oh, research lot three. My bad. Right, engineering.
But either way, if we do eventually have war, it's going to be an absolute grind. Oh, Balkan's politics. Manchu Pichu has been uncovered. Very good. We can do the Orthodox Brotherhood, which would cancel uh, increase diplomatic relations with Serbia. Or we do appeasement in the Balkans, which reduces my political power, changes the economy law to isolation. I think I'd like to increase my two military factories there. But I have some spare political power. We're only on limited conscription, which is awesome. Armaments organizer, quartermaster, silent workhorse. I think we'll do that because our political power gain is pretty crap. But that does increase it quite a lot. Just moving the mic around if you heard a squeak. And so far, I think it's actually just playing... Yeah, it's just playing the normal Hearts of Iron songs at the moment. I think... At least they all sound familiar. In fact, I might just lower the volume a little bit. I don't know if it's too loud for you guys and gals. Oh, the Mona Lisa has been stolen. What? The frick. Right. Up to date there. Industry. So what year are we in now? We're in 1911. Okay, how is our infantry equipment doing? Ah, Polyton Scandinavia, very good. Western focus just because it increases our political power. So we are in September 1911. So I probably should get my economy going a bit more. Or increase my military factories so I can actually get stuff. Because at the moment this is just dire. But if we don't have war for years, I should finally get it all up to date. There is no way that I can actually... Yeah, unless I start building tons of crap. Oh, the king doesn't need to play war. Okay. So better not affect the price of tea. No, indeed not. We're in the Republic of China. So how many divisions do they have? Oh, well. 1916. Do improved oil drilling. Oh, yes. Military high command. Okay. Let's increase our recovery rate for our army. Our grand force. Oh, okay. There we go. Tension is growing. Yet. Oh, gosh. Please don't crash. Current wars. The Mexican Civil War. Oh, that's still going on. The Mexican Civil War. Oh, well, okay. Early tank project. Yeah, we're researching quite a lot. I mean, it doesn't take long to... I mean, I guess I'll do torpedo attack because there's not a whole lot I can do at the moment. Hmm. It seems the Mexican opposition might just win that civil war. You know, I'm not sure I'm ever going to need... Oh, the Great Mongolian State. Huh. They came out of nowhere. Kingdom of Italy declared war. Oh, crumbs. Right. No national focus has been set. Italian invasion of Libya. Well, good for them. I guess we'll see how it goes. I imagine they'll probably take it quite easily, won't they? How many divisions do our allies have? 37. Oh, God. 
123, and I've got 157, except a lot of my divisions are going to be pretty crappy. But how many airships do we currently have? 10. Oh, yes. South Pole has been reached. Very good. Do you know what? Let's just, let's just train a few divisions here. But our main focus is going to be for reinforcements. Oh, no, sorry. Set priority for equipment going to reinforce active troops. Yes. And upgrades. Right, so I could do infrastructure effort too. But I can't do the rest until 1913. So, what I think we will do... the western focus so at least we have that option and again it just gives us political power Republic of China took 13 states that didn't take a moment okay thank god the tea is safe oh wow The United Kingdom has a little bit of territory there. And I believe, yeah, in Hong Kong they control that too. Hmm. So the Ottoman Empire. Holy moly, they've got a lot of them. Oh, here we go. The Balkan League. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Looks like the Italian invasion got annihilated. And if they some if the Ottomans somehow land in Italy, that just that would be freaking hilarious. Western focus is almost complete. Very good, sir. Very good indeed. Ah. Hmm. Enact non-aggression pact, or we can celebrate the alliance. We'll do the Orthodox Brotherhood. Then that will enable us to spark the powder keg, support Serbia, restore Russia's former glory. Oh yeah, I want to restore Russia's former glory. I said that. Sorry, I said that. Uh, said that quite seductively then, didn't I? Requires the technology war of movement. Or I can just go down the mass charge, which probably does go in hand in hand with the uh, Russian tactics that I'm probably going to implement. Military high command. Definitely increase our entrenchment. Okay, how well equipped is the Russian army looking? 81%. A lot better than it was. Engineer drawing. Alright. French excavation is done. Oh, there we go. Continuous track. Hmm. Can't go down atomic research yet, unfortunately. <laughs> That'd be great if I could. Air Doctrine, Flying Corpse. Oh yeah, Airship Bomber Training. Yush. Got to invest in the Doctrines. Ah, we will attend the Olympic Games, but of course. A lot of our troops are green. Let's get them to exercise. Oh, 
I know that's incredibly bad for equipment, but I think it'll be worth it if we need to hold the line. Ah, we're actually finally getting some factories built. Still going to focus on those for now. Serbia declared war on the Ottoman Empire. What oh? War in the Balkans. Okay. We'll let that continue. Well, I, I can't inter interfere even if I wanted to. How is that war progressing, though? Oh, well, as usual, the Ottomans are losing more. Be interested to see if they have enough forces. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like we're pretty much all regular at the moment, so I'll stop the training. So hopefully that hasn't affected it too now. We're still going up. It's good. It's good, it's all good, it's all going to plan. Of course, these campaigns always... Do. I don't want to type here. Go, go. Emperor... Oh. Ah. Yeah, I can't actually research much, except if I want to go ahead of time. They're all 1914. These are all 1914. So, technology doesn't really advance much before the war begins. I'll, I'll see if I can get the... Actually, uh, do I even need that? I want to just go for the, the SAR tank. Okay, well, let's get the naval doctrine then. Focus on the doctrines for now. Nothing too wrong with that. Reorganize the Imperial Army. Eh. So we're getting quite limited by what we can do here now as well. I mean, I can reinforce the naval. Oh, that doesn't deal with that, but okay, that's actually quite good. Hmm. We'll assert our position in Asia, though. Why not? Will assert our dominance everywhere. I, do you know what? I think it's kind of unlikely I'm going to have war with Japan. Oh, sorry, China. So I'm actually going to revert some of my forces back down here. So how many do we have? We've got 61 down there. So, I'm going to plop you. Okay. So, they are moving, slowly but surely. <laughs> Russia is quite a large country. Ah, there we go. Mexican opposition won. As expected, really. So that's some tr more troops on the border. Very good. There's not really a whole lot we can do until the war starts. I wonder how many Zeppelins I've got now. 25. Oh yes. We are building a mighty air force. Okay, well, I think I this might be a good place to end the first episode what 30 minutes long a little bit longer so always that's always a kind of a good length uh, so <laughs> i was about to say that's what she said then um 
But if you've enjoyed the episode, of course, make sure to leave a like and all that jazz. Uh, this campaign will continue. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day. Bye.